Hello, photography class. Welcome to class. Today, um, for this video, I am going to go over our homepage on Canvas. When you open up our Canvas class, you will notice that our, our homepage is basically just a Bitmoji classroom. This classroom is full of links and buttons that will take you to pretty much everything you need. The first one that says welcome to photography is actually going to contain this video when I have finished making it. Um, so you can go back and watch it if you ever need to. The next button is the syllabus. It's going to take you to a Google Doc um, <clears throat> that shows you the syllabus. You will be getting a paper copy of this syllabus. It is uh, meant for you to take home and go over with your family at home and you need to sign it. Well, print your name, sign it, and then you need to have a parent, guardian, somebody who is um, in, responsible for taking care of you, sign it also and make sure you put dates on it. Please make sure that you guys have looked at it and read it before you sign it. Okay, so the next thing is the agenda. And this, I thought I had it on there. This will take you to our classroom agenda that will look like this, or at least similar to this. When you open it, you will notice that all of my class agendas are actually on here. Your, your agenda will be down here. It will be slide number six. Um, <clears throat> and that is there for you in case you may miss a day because you're out sick or we have a snow day or maybe I'm not here and the substitute doesn't have access to my agendas. The agenda will always be there for you. It will also be up on the Promethean board when you come in every day. Okay, so the next one is a subscribe to my channel. It will take you to a video on YouTube that will show you how to subscribe to my school YouTube channel. If you do not subscribe to my channel, you may have difficulty watching the videos that I make and have made for this class. Um, the next one is going to take you to thought of the day. And this is where I put my inspirational quotes for my students. The, there is nothing that has anything to do with your grade here. They are just thoughts, everyday, positive, inspirational thoughts to help you keep focused on being positive as you go through your day. I will cover each quote as we go through each day. And the next one is the class Google Drive. Um, if you have not been added to this yet, you will be added to this soon. You will, <coughs> excuse me, you will be using this Google, Google Drive to store the pictures you take for this class. The next one is the Bell Work Prompts. If you've had me for, for class before, you already know how bell work works. If you have not had me before, then um, <clears throat> you will see that this slideshow here is actually just going to be the questions for the bell work. And I will be uncovering each question for that day in the morning of that day. This last one, the bonus question, will be uncovered with Wednesdays. The bonus question is not mandatory. You may do it or you may choose not to do it. Either way, it's okay. If you choose not to do it, it will not hurt your grade. If you choose to do it, you can get up to five extra bonus points depending upon how well you answer the question. Now, those are the questions. And the answer sheets are here under this button that says bell work answers. It's going to take you to an assignment on Canvas. And your bell work answer sheet is going to look like this. 
You have a place for your name. I do want you to put your name on it, please. Then you have a spot to answer the bell work for each day. If you decide to answer the bonus question, the answer goes down here. If you decide not to do the bonus question, please just leave this blank. And again, it will not hurt your grade if you decide not to do it. <clears throat> I do expect you to do your bell work even if you miss a day of class. Um, so what I'm doing is after the week is over, your bell work will be moved to this chart. The prompts and the, and the answers, you see the date, this is this week's date and it'll be moved here after this week. And each week after you guys have turned in that week's bell work, I will move it to this page. And again, you get to it by clicking on this button that says pass bell work. That is there so you can go find it. If you have missed um, a Friday and weren't able to turn it in, if you have missed even a couple days of a week or somehow you've gotten behind, you still have access to it so you can get to it. Over here, you have a camera agreement, which you will be getting a paper copy of. Hi, everybody. Guess what? This week we're going to get started on this um, is going to be your agreement so that you handle the candle, the cameras appropriately. You will not be allowed to use a camera until you have turned this in. Um, <clears throat> lenses and batteries. This is going to be another video that explains about the lenses and the batteries okay. so. that go with our cameras. It'll show you how to change a battery and show you how to change the, change the lenses. We will go over this in class also, but these videos are here in case you forget or if you want to look ahead. Now, if you go over here, you will see banners that say past module, current module, next uh, module, and ongoing, which is your portfolio work. Obviously, we don't have a past module yet because we haven't started. Our current module, which is where we will be starting, is the history of photography. If you click on the link, it'll take you to the module. Um, <clears throat> I do not have the camera basics linked up yet because it, it's really not ready for you to look at. But as soon as it is, I will put a link there. There is a, book, a link here that says, I'm finished. Now what? Or what now? <clears throat> that will take you to this page that gives you a ton of options that you can be doing if you have finished all of the assignments that have been posted up to that point. Please do not use this stuff unless you have finished all of the assignments that have been posted. Okay. If you click on the W here, it is going to take you to Warren County's homepage if you need it while you are working in this class. If you click over here where it says Minta, <coughs> it's going to take you to the house stories for all the houses. Now, the reason it says Minta on my wall is because I am Minta, but it takes you to all the house stories in case you need um, for some whatever reason to remember it. This camera right here is going to take you to a video that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, is just kind of a fun video. It talks about 16 ways to make money with photography. And then this camera is going to take you to another video. In this video, no matter which video you are creating, this video is going to talk about beginner mis photography mistakes and what to avoid in order to take better photos. 
This is just ac ac extra information that may help you as we're going through class. This camera here. <clears throat> I love reading is going to take you to this video, Best Lessons in Photography for, for Beginners. Um, it is only a little over five minutes long, but it's going to give you a whole lot of information in those five minutes. Again, it's just extra information that could help you. The last camera does not have a link on it yet because I have not found something to put there yet, but when I do, I'll put it there. This right here, my nesting doll is going to take you to a slideshow called What Are Your Hobbies? If you would like to add to this slideshow, you can make a slide about things that you like to do, your hobbies. Maybe you would like to put things on there that you collect, things that you like to do, whatever you would like. Um, it would be very fun if you do choose to add to this slideshow so that we can get to know each other a little bit better. You will see that I have added a slideshow here that talks about my hobbies um, to give you a little bit more information about me. Okay, now the last thing right here. For those of you that don't know, Mrs. McCoy loves Scottish Terriers. It's one of my favorite things. And this right here is a video about Max the Singing Scotty, and it's pretty funny. It's only about a half a minute long, but it's pretty funny. And one thing I want to talk to you about, you see how he's laying here with his paws out? Those of us that have Scottish Terriers, we call that frogging. So just kind of a little bit of fun fact there for you. And I'm going to make sure I have, yeah, I've gone over all of the buttons on here. This right here will take you to the page that has all the modules on it. Please, if you want to go and look at all the assignments, please use the module link and not the assignment link. The assignment, the module link is going to take you to a much better organized page than the assignment link will take you to. Also, grades. If you want to know what you're missing in here, it's best to come to Canvas and click on grades. Look for anything that has a dash or a zero. Because the thing is, if I have already given you a zero because it's taken you too long to turn something in, your student porter will no longer tell you it's missing. So it's best for you to look for your missing assignments on Canvas. Now, if you want to know what your grade would be if grade cards were put out at that moment, you need to look at student portal. <clears throat> if you ever have any questions about every, anything that is on this homepage, please make sure you talk to me and I will help you out. But for now, that is Photography Class homepage. <laughs>